Welcome. Today we're going to go over the BT Basketball Camera application shown on the left here, which is an all-in-one application that you can use to record basketball games with score overlay as shown here. Um, as well, you can use the application to control the score, the time, and the shot clock directly within the application itself so that you can just bring one device to the gym and record your basketball games, control the score, uh, time, and whatnot with just a single device, all right? And finally, as well, optionally, you can use the application to control a shot clock or a scoreboard uh, remotely as well. Okay, so with that said, let's jump into the tutorial for today, which again is all about the BT basketball camera application. As you can see, it's a camera device for recording. And right here, you see the score overlay uh, with of course the score, the time, and the shot clock. All right, and on the left and the right here are controls for the camera. Um, and if you click this basketball icon here, you have controls for the score, the fouls, possession arrows, timeouts, and a little pad here for starting the time and the shot clock. All right, so let's go back to the camera controls. All right, and I'm gonna start on the top left here is an icon for discovering um, shot clocks and scoreboards. Again, this is optional. If you don't have a shot clock or a scoreboard, again, you can go to the gym just with the camera device by itself, and that should be sufficient to record a full game with score, time, and shot clock. All right, so if you do have a shot clock and scoreboard, as you can see over here, it has been automatically detected. Click the Bluetooth icons to connect to the shot clock and the scoreboard and a green icon means that it is connected all right so let's close that menu and the next icon here is the audio icon for buzzer sounds you can enable audio or disable audio uh, as you like uh, next icon down here is a rectangular icon which if you click it it will change the overlay style Okay, so we have, let's say, a horizontal overlay style here. If you click it again, it will toggle to, let's say, a, a smaller um, overlay style. Click it once more, and we have, let's say, the right side, right side overlay style with the logo on the left. And again, logos are selectable, so you can put you know, the logo for your league as you like within uh, the application. Uh, for the tutorial today, we're gonna choose the horizontal overlay as shown here, okay? All right, so moving down the control list again, uh, next icon here is a little uh, paint palette. And if you click that, it will change the color of the scoreboard, as you can see there. So now we have kind of a white black color scheme. Click it again, and we have an all white color scheme and click it again and we have the default color scheme with let's say blue uh, score colors here uh, and for today we'll go with the kind of white red yellow color scheme all right and moving down the icon list on the bottom left here is a fill icon and what that fill icon does is if you have team colors for example so what I just did there, I held down on the team name that pops up this team edit dialog. And I'm going to change the team name to, let's say, Sharks. All right. And we're going to make that color blue for that team. And we're going to click update. And as you can see there, the team name updated to Sharks and the color of the team is blue. And if you notice over here on my scoreboard, that's synchronized. Uh, Sharks blue there as well. And so what the fill icon does is it selects the fill level of your team name. So I'm gonna click it once. And if you notice there, if you notice there, now Sharks is filled in uh, to the minimal level. If you click it once more, if you notice, it, it goes to, uh, fills more to the right now. And if you click it once more, then it does a full fill. All right, so depending on what you like, uh, you can style your overlay uh, as such. All right, and just for today's tutorial, we'll change the away team as well. 
Uh, let's call them uh, tigers and let's make them red, for example. Red tigers. All right, so that has been updated on the overlay here as well has been updated on my scoreboard. All right, um, going over the controls on the right side of the application now. We have the settings icon. Click that to select, let's say if you're playing full court or three on three, you can select between different rules or you can customize your own rules for your own league if you desire. Uh, scrolling down here, we will see a quick settings menu where we can select if we want to record to a file or if we want to live stream, we can you know, put in the live stream parameters here uh, as well as your stream key. Uh, tutorial on live streaming is in another video. I'll put it in the link below. All right, and let's move on. Uh, here on the right in the middle is a zoom zoom control slider. So if you, you know, scroll that up, that's going to zoom in for your video. If you scroll it out, it's going to zoom out. All right, and you can adjust the zoom speed in the settings as well. Uh, here we have a very slow zoom speed for a nice fade in and fade out effect, which is good for, let's say, five on five games. All right, uh, moving down here, all right, see where my thumb is. We have the resolution controls. So you can select if you want 4K, HD, or SD. Um, of course, if you want 4K, you better have a pretty powerful device for it to be able to handle it. Today, we've selected HD with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. All right, and finally, uh, last but not least, on the bottom right here is, again, the quick settings menu. All right, so just click that, and it's gonna pop up your quick settings menu uh, right away, just for convenience. All right, uh, we're gonna close that. Close that. And switching over to, so click the basketball icon here. We'll switch over to my score controls and time controls. All right, um, so this is pretty straightforward. On the left side here, we have controls for the home team. And on the right side, we have controls for the away team. Okay, so let's, let's just start the game. So we have a little keypad here for controlling the time. We're gonna click start to start the pregame timer. And as you can see on my shot clock, on my scoreboard, it has been started as well. Everything is synchronized together with the BT basketball camera application. I'm going to click start again to go to my first period and I'll click start again to start the game. So as you can see, the shot clock and time has started on again, both my shot clock and my scoreboard. And to reset the shot clock, just click the reset 24 here on the bottom left that will reset the shot clock. Click go to start the shot clock. Let's say uh, on offense, the uh, offensive team shoots the ball, hits the rim. We can reset it to 14 seconds if they have an offensive rebound. And we can click go to go 14 seconds. All right, again, your shot clock settings can be fully customizable in the settings. So let's say if you're playing three on three with a 12 second shot clock, then you can set that as appropriate. Okay. So moving on, let's start this. Let's pause the time for a second here. Or actually, let's just reset the shot clock and just freeze the shot clock there. Keep the time going. Uh, over here, we have our score controls. So I'm gonna do a plus one. Let's say Shark scored a three pointer. I'm gonna plus three there. And then let's say Tigers scored a layup. You know, plus two. All right, uh, let's see here, plus two. There you go. All right, plus two. All right, let's say sharks have a foul. Plus one for the foul. All right, plus one for the foul. And let's say tigers call a timeout. I put the bottom T here to go to timeout. All right, um, possession arrows. So let's exit this timeout here. Let's exit it. Let's start the timer. And let's say possession arrows, if you can see, shot clock is blocking it at the moment. Move it out of the way without messing anything up. 
So possession arrows here, moving left and right. All right, again, controllable within the BT camera application. All right, let's put the shot clock back. All right, so um, it's as simple as that. Okay, so you can use the BT basketball camera application, again, as an all-in-one application to record your basketball games with score overlay. You can use it to control the score, the time, the shot clock, and as well use it as a remote for shot clocks and scoreboards made by the Basketball Temple. Okay, so thank you for your time today. If you like the application that you saw today, you can buy it on the App Store for Apple, for iPhone and iPad. I'll flash it on the screen real quick here. There you go. You can get it on the App Store. And as well, it's cross-platform now, so you can get it on Android. Let's say if you have an Android phone or an Android tablet, it also runs on those devices as well. Okay, so there you go. And I appreciate your time, and thank you very much.